All right, guys, so I just ran an ad. Check that out. 29 people on the website right now. Yo, what's up guys, it's Nash here and I'm super stoked for this video because today I'm gonna show you exactly how I was able to generate over $600 in one day using Shopify dropshipping and influencer marketing, Instagram influencer marketing that is. So before we get started, let me jump into my computer, show you the results just so uh, we can kind of get that out of the way and then we'll jump into exactly how I was able to do it and the whole strategy and everything. So let's get started. All right guys, so here we are on my computer. As you can see, uh, it's September 5th. Uh, I was able to make $609, almost $610, right, in one day. Uh, you know, 273 visits, $50 average order value, which um, is something that's super important, um, I think. And I'll help you out um, in later videos in terms of how to get our or average order value up. Um, like today, I just had two orders that were over 50. I had one that was like 73 and then one that was 93. So. Um, so let me just go ahead and just you know restart this just so I can you know show you. It's not a screenshot. It's like legit. Um, yeah, as you can see, it just reloads and yeah, we're all good. All right, sick. So now we are in Photoshop. I'm gonna jump in and kind of show you exactly the the strategy that I do. Now, before I do that, I want to stress, okay, that Shopify is like any business. You need to have a strategy going in. If you don't have a strategy going in, you're gonna drown, right? Especially for those of you that have like $50, $100, $150 to spend, because I know there's there's some people that are like that, um, that just want to go in and learn it all themselves. Well, the problem is, is you only have $50 and you need to figure out how to allocate that capital in the best, most productive way possible. And if you waste it, then you're out 50 bucks and now you, know, you have nothing, right? So you need to have a strategy going in um, in order to be able to do this. Now, um, in my opinion, there's three different things uh, that you absolutely need to have for your Shopify store to be successful. Now, I don't want to oversimplify it. Shopify is a simple thing, but it's not easy. There's a lot of moving parts, right? But there are three things that if you don't have all three of them, you're not going to make any sales. And I want to go over those right now. All right, so out here in Photoshop, um, the first thing that you need, obviously, is you need to have like some sort of product, right? If you don't have anything to sell, then, I mean, you may as well close up shop. You need to have something to sell. But as I'll talk about in just a minute, it, it can't just be anything. It has to be something very specific. Now, you also need to have some sort of way to uh, you know, get that product out to the market. In my, in my case, I use Shopify. You could use eBay. You could use Amazon. You could use all kinds of different things. Um, but this is, this is your website, right? This is where people hopefully are coming to see your, your product and are you know, hopefully going to buy it. Now, I see so many people that have amateur websites. They have websites that have like crazy colors everywhere, um, you know, random products like, you know, they might have a dog product and they might have like, you know, a freaking, uh, you know, Lego set or something. It's, it's just random, right? So that's not what you want. There are people that do that and there are people that are successful, but they kind of start from the beginning and they're professional marketers. They know what they're doing. In my opinion, if you're just starting out, you should definitely start with a niche store because it's so much easier. <clears throat> okay? So... Uh, first of all, get, get a professional website. If you don't know how to design one, if you don't know how to make it good, um, either number one, figure it out, or number two, hire somebody that knows how to do it so that you, know, you can kind of cut your learning curve um, and hopefully get into profitability faster. Now, before we even get a product, before we even get a website, the first thing, in my opinion, that we need to do is figure out our market. Now, what most people do is they tell you, you, know, you need to go get your, you need to get your product, and then you need to go get a website, and then you need to figure out your marketing. Well, that's completely backwards. Um, in my opinion, what you need to do is you need to figure out your market. You need to figure out who's going to actually buy this product. Um, and then you can find your product. Let me explain how that works. Um, so we need to get people that are actually interested in, in something that will actually buy, right? How do we do that? We find niche pages on Instagram. That's how I do it. Um, so like say you want to get into sharks, say you want to sell shark products, right? But you don't know what to sell. Like you could go on AliExpress, you could sort by orders and you could maybe find like, you know, some sort of shark bracelet or something that might sell, right? You might get lucky, but what you could do instead is go on shark pages on Instagram. So like here's, you know, a page on Instagram that's like sharks daily, right? Then there's another one that's like, you know, wildlife. I'm just making these up. These aren't legit, I don't think. Um, you know, some sort of wildlife page, you know, ocean wildlife, whatever. These are all Instagram pages, right? So what you can do is actually reach out to these people and be like, yo, um, you know, how much, you know, what it costs for me to post an ad on your page. But before you get to that point, what you want to do is look through and see, 
uh, you know, they all post shark stuff, but is there a common theme? Are they promoting like some sort of product, right? So maybe you, you look at, you know, I don't know, 50 pages or whatever, and you see that maybe three or four of them are promoting this certain shark necklace, right? And you see this ad kind of all over, all over the place. Well, say these three are promoting that, what you can do is be like, whoa, yeah, there's competition, but because they're promoting, that means that they're probably making some money on that. So if there's money to be had, then for me, that means that I can jump in that market and probably also you know, make some money off of it too. So what I would do is, is take this product, find it on AliExpress or a similar product, and basically you know, just uh, rejuvenate the marketing, make it a little bit different, make it unique, fresh for your brand, okay? And then you can reach out to other pages that you found that aren't promoting it, and you know, hopefully be able to, to run ads with them. Okay, um, but the, the thing that I'm trying to stress here is that I found the niche and I found the market and I found the pages, I found who's gonna buy the thing before I even found the thing itself, right? So once, you've, once you have this, it makes finding a product so much easier because um, now that you have this product, now you can just go out to AliExpress and find like additional products, right? So these are just like auxiliary products um, that complement your main one. So maybe you have a shark tooth bracelet, but then over here you have maybe like a shark um, you know, t-shirt, you have like, you just made a sale, um, you know, shark something else. I don't know. Um, but basically somebody comes to this product, they see that you have this other stuff. They're like, wow, um, I could spend $10, but look at this. This is like 25 bucks. Let me add it to the cart kind of thing. <clears throat> and that's how you can, you know, churn your average order value from $10 now to $35. Um, you know, and, and that's just like the strategy that goes into making, a campaign that's successful and then actually makes its money back, right? So hopefully this was you know helpful for you guys. Hopefully you learned a lot. I'm gonna dive way more into depth into how you set all this stuff up, how you contact influencers, how you you know how you even you know pick a product in the first place, how you know the actual logistics of this stuff. So if you're interested, if you want to learn this stuff, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell as well um, because that'll let you know as soon as I drop the content because I'm gonna be doing it every single day for you guys because I really want to help. Um, you know, I was able to figure out how to do this and I'm still new to the industry. I'm still, you know, a baby. Um, but I've learned a few things and I think that my experiences can hopefully, you know, help you guys out. So I want to do that. Um, so yeah, so go ahead and hit the subscribe button, notification bell, hit the like if you liked it. And lastly, leave me a comment. Tell me what you liked about this video, number one. But number two, um, tell me what you want to learn in the future. Because like I said, I really want to help you guys um, you know, get to over a hundred dollars a day because honestly, once you figure it out, it's honestly just like, it's super, it's, it's pretty easy. And I hate saying that because, you know, if you're not making sales right now, it sounds like, you know, it sounds like the hardest thing ever, but once you figure it out, something just clicks. It's so easy to go from a hundred dollars a day to like $500 a day. Um, you know, just like that. And I can show you how to do that. So go ahead, subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. I need you in the morning. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh